I needed an inventory system, so I built one. But it didn't work. But it didn't work. But it didn't work. But it didn't work. When I was on full lab forums, I needed an inventory system. So I made one, but it didn't work. Later on, I was on full lab forums. Boom, 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 boom. And then I got a message. It was from Ramshackle. Hey, you can make an inventory system. I'm like, definitely. I'll do that. Awesome. Inside me, I'm like, stupid man. How could I agree? I've never built an inventory system. The last time I failed. But then, oh, 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 oh. I saw a link. That's when my troubles were over. Hey, what's up? You're on the Rockin' Flojax channel. Right now, you're gonna see how to build an inventory system. Many of you have probably asked, many of you have probably wanted to make one, and you can finally make one right now. Now, I'm crediting JR1 for his inventory system. His links are down below. Ram Shackle, thank you for actually giving me this idea. It was a brilliant idea, and I succeeded in building my own pack. Let's start. Rockin' Flojax, creator, builder, and gamer. Fantastical. We are in our browser. And right now, I'm just going to start off by creating an object. I want some health. All right, so we're going to create an object. I'm going to name it heart. I'm going to select a sprite image. And then we're going to go to physics. Unselect is solid. Select enable collisions. Go back to properties and go into the behaviors editor. These are all the blocks you'll need. You'll need the ones block, two number blocks, two save blocks. A collision block, a size block, a filter block, and then a destroy block. This is how you'll be connecting your logic. All right, now let's give our save blocks a name. The save, uh, the save number is going to be heart, or the save name is going to be heart. This is going to be, the filter is going to be equal to 1. And this, we're just going to name it heart. We need all the, fil the save blocks names to be exact. This number value is 1, and then I'm going to select my player, which is Jax. So Jax is my player. Now... We need to give the number that's in the middle, right there, we're going to give it a value, which is 80. Because I want it to be a little smaller than its normal size. I want it to be smaller. So I'm putting it to 80. That's the formula that you'll literally use. All right. Now, in the player bundle, uh, or in the player section, I'm going to make a bundle named heart, and then we're going to input some logic here so this is all you'll need you'll need a keyboard a save block a filter block a number block and then a save block as well as the message block all right so the keyboard is going to be e you can literally press any key press or select any one but i chose e this is how you'll connect your logic together now what this literally guys does, oh, and make sure the save number names are all the same. What this literally does is it just uh, reads. So when I press E, it just reads. If it's equal to one, if there is a heart, then it will read it, all right? And then it will activate. And if it doesn't have a heart in its save system, then it will not activate, all right? Whatever you need. So that's how it works. Now here I'm going to cre create a system, a health system, because I haven't created one yet. I'll need two mailbox, three numbers, two labels, a filter, and a load level block. This is going to be update health. As you noticed in the previous one, uh, in the other heart bundle that I made, there was an update health. And this is all you'll just connect. I'm just making sure this is quick. Now, I made a mistake here. I hooked it up to alpha, number to alpha. That's wrong. It's supposed to be number to value. All right. So that's how it works. Health two. And then I'm just making sure that my health will be taken away from the players or from the objects that are 
dangerous. Okay, everything looks good. Now I'm just going into the user interface layer and then typing in half scene object, deleting it, and just making out a sprite or making up a sprite. Going to the behaviors, and right now we're going to input some more logic. You'll need the once block, a number block, an alpha block. This is just to make the object half scene. So I want it 50. I want it to be half scene. All right. This is simply the box. Now I clone it and I move those aside. All right. Now. We're making the heart. So heart UI, I labeled it heart in user interface, gave it a sprite image. And now let's input some more logic. All right. So you'll need the always block, the save number block, filter, another number block, and then an alpha block. And this is pretty much how you'll set it up. No, it's the number, save number, is heart, same name. Always read, and then this is just how you'll connect your logic together. Equal to one in filter, pass get, and then it's not, it's, it's actually fail, get, like that. This is 80, so what this does is it's, if it's equal to one, then... It activates so always it reads the number then if the filter finds that it's equal to one then it will make the number show so then it will the heart will be seen and if it if there's no one number one value in the save number then the heart will not be seen We're moving this back and let's see how this works all right now for somehow this wasn't working the correct way, so I had to fix up some things. First of all, I had to go to Game World level, edit, and back to here, and while I was checking, yep, that's the mistake. Out value. And I thought that I fixed my problem. So I went back, and I started kind of like playing around with it again, and it didn't work again, which was stupid. So I went back checked out everything here everything was right then I found another mistake while I was checking here the fact is the load level oh yeah the filter is less than or equal to zero not two that that was wrong all right that was wrong so I fixed it up and now when we now let's go back now when I oh, get the heart boom I press E I have health so when I get the heart, it goes into my inventory, and boom, I press E, and it updates my health. All right, now I want to create a key. Now the key will literally help me unlock the door. And I'm just selecting a sprite image. I'm selecting a solid, selecting enable collisions, back to behaviors. And the logic is all the same, as in the heart logic as in the heart we made, only the saved number has a different name. These are all the blocks you'll need. And you can make as many objects as you want in your inventory system. It's just that you really need to uh, understand that you need this type of logic. This type of logic. It's fairly the same everywhere. I gave those save numbers labels the same thing my player is jacks so get number one save and when it's done it destroys out now it will once read the save number and this will actually be 80 so I want it to contract 80 and then when it reads if it's equal to one then it just simply destroys the block if it's not equal to one Nothing happens. All right, now we need to make the door. So we're going to create the door, name it door, enable collisions, and I'm going to select a sprite image. Now I need to make an animation, create new, and call it door. 
Okay, and select the open door option. Okay, now let's go into the behaviors and let's do the always block, the save block, and then you need the filter block, a switch block, a collision block, enabled animation, as well as a number block. And then we need three more. So it's switch and it's actually proximity, not number. And then slowed level. So we're going to name this key and this other one key. Say it's going to always read the number. Then it's going to be always in the switch. This is just how you'll pair up the... Um, logic. My player is Jax, so it's going in the switch. And then once the switch is activated, it goes to false. It disables the object. And then it stay on last frame when done. Number get and save number save. All right, and I found my mistake. We need a pr proximity block. So the proximity is Jax or the player. All right, then we need to put the distance to its lowest value. So the lowest value for the proximity block is four. And then switch, check. So it's always gonna check and then it's gonna go load level. And I'm gonna pick my level menu. So as soon as you hit it, the door, you're gonna go back to menu. Then the last thing you need to do is that line. Boom, that's all you need to know. All right, now I want the key not to just be there, but I want it to actually hide in an enemy. So when you kill it, it will actually spawn out a key. So it's going to be don't expire objects, emit force 20, emit angle 180, and then the angle is independent. The object to emit is key. Make sure it's not key in user interface. Make sure that it's the key right now, like the key right now you made. All right, now let's get into the user interface and let's make our key object. Key UI, and then uh, pick my sprite, go behaviors, and let's just input our logic. We actually need one save block or save number, a filter, two numbers, and an alpha block. This is going to be at 80 equal to 1. The save number is key. So that's the name. And then the always block read in pass get fail get 0 and that's just how you connect the logic. Simple as it gets. Now everything looks just good so I put that block out and we're back in the game world and let's see how this plays out. Just double uh, just making sure that all the details are right and set up before I play my test or run my test. Now in the health, I notice something weird. In the load level, it's supposed to actually restart the level, not load another level. So I just reloaded my inventory level, so it reloads. Okay, so I've got the key. Now I have the heart. I press E. My health gets updated. I kill the enemy. I kill this enemy, I go, and <laughs> I almost <laughs> lost all my lives. Yes, I got in there. <laughs> Boom. Now let's do it again. Now I have no key, so we're going heart. All right. Oh, no. Yes, I got that key. And I'm almost there. All right. All right. Oh, man. Couldn't make it again. Yes, I made it. And that's how you make an, a simple inventory system. Hey guys, if you have liked watching this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want some more of this great content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Ultimately, 